Well, it was kind of weird on on Saturday. Every everyone left the building, and you had to wait till late Saturday night to find out Bemidji's score. But you technically, won a championship that night, or at least a share of it. Was there any kind of celebration? Any kind of talk about that, or or are you focused on different different things right now? Well, I mean, we had we had the senior night going on on Saturday. You know, we um, we, we had a lot of stuff set up, so I you know it was a lot of people. So there was a lot of talk. And um, you know we they kind of get us updated with the scores, but um, you know it was nothing too, we were too worried about. I think it was, you know, it was it was a night for seniors and our you know our team, and and, and that's uh, what we take, took advantage for. And so, given that, do you kind of look at this week like you're going in there to with a chance to because because you can win it outright and be the top seed that that's really what's on the line this weekend then? At yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but um, you know if. It doesn't matter if we, we, we share the McNaughton as of right now or if, if, if it's um, we're both tied with the points. I think um, it's 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 a weekend for us like like, um, you know, the, the entire the entire season. Um, but obviously there's a championship on the line. But, you know, we're going to approach approach the Friday game like we're always um, and we're preparing for that right now. When you uh, obviously you didn't play against Bemidji last time, right? You were out, and um, um, but I'm sure you watched that. What do you think of you know what what they bring, and you know both these are the two, not just first and second place in the league, but really the two hottest teams maybe in the country right now based on your records since the new year. What what do you think about Bemidji and and their game, and how do you guys have to prepare for them? Well, I mean, all the all the Bemidji teams I've faced over my my four year span have been uh, pretty similar. But um, I played against them once uh, in Mariucci, and then obviously I watched the two um, from the stands. But but in my opinion, this is probably the the best team they've um, they've had, and um, since I've been here, um, you know, they're a well coached team, um, and they're really. Um, um, a structured team, um, discipline. Um, you saw it here. You know, once they when they got the one two goal lead. I mean, obviously we um, we made a little pushback at the end, but you you don't want to play from behind against Bemidji. And, um, so it's that that first first goal is really important um, to both sides, and um, I think that's play it's going to play a huge part um, to the towards the outcome of of the game or two games. Um, two games back for you and and. Uh, uh, we talked on Friday night, but just how, how are you feeling this week uh, after getting your first two games under your belt? Good, really good. Um, you know, it's uh, everything I can ask for. Um, it's you ask every athlete. It's it's really tough um, to to be watching the stands or, or on TV, and um, you know. I had two good games uh, on Friday and Saturday. For Saturday, um, so I felt really good about you know where I'm at um, uh, with with my injury, but um, you know go from there and making some progress every day and um, you know that's that's my goal uh, no matter how, how I'm going to play on the weekends and it's just making progress and, and that's what I'm doing right now. It's a long season Mark uh, dating back to October and, and uh, you look at it I guess in some respects and you have that in front of you and say boy it's a long season I, it's going to be a while before we get to February and the end of the regular season and yet here we are. Um, how fast has the season gone here? And you've had to deal with uh, 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 some challenges, of course, with any seven games here right before the end of the season. Talk about uh, maybe the grind and, and how quick the season has gone, actually, in terms of uh, it being your senior season. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of funny, you know. You come you come in as a freshman, and the seniors tell you, you know, don't take anything for granted because because time flies, and um, you know, you, you, the freshman year goes by, is yeah, pretty fast. And then the sophomore, it's even faster. Now as a senior, you know, it's it's you know where where the time go. Um, and then especially like you said with my injury, it's uh, it's it's crazy. It just feels like we just got started against uh, um, you know Nodak here at home in, in Arizona, and uh, you know finally we've been talking about you know the end of the season since literally before we even played our first game you know we, we said we have to get a lot of stuff done and um, we've done a pretty good job so far um but I can't you know with my injury like I said you you, you can't, can't really take it for granted so for me right now it's not really a, of a grind I know for the for a bunch of guys it's, it's a kind of a grind but um I'm just really excited to be back and and, and push for that you know last um month and a half of the season or my my college career